Hello and welcome to Acoustic Review. My name is Ben Morgan Brown and today I'm looking at the Loose Bevel from Court Guitars. This guitar features a solid Sitka spruce top, laminated mahogany back and sides, a mahogany neck with an Avangal fingerboard, a 643mm scale length and a 45mm nut width, an Avangal bridge, a satin finish and an arm bevel on the lower bout. We haven't been provided with an RRP for this guitar, but I have seen it for sale online at between £250 and £300. Court manufacture many guitars under license for other brands, and it's almost certain that you've played a Court guitar and perhaps not realised it. So let's have a listen to the guitar now, and then we'll come back afterwards for my thoughts. My first impression of this guitar is that it's very basic looking. Apart from the arm bevel, it's about as stripped down as a guitar can get while still being a functioning instrument. But I think there's an honesty in that look, and it's not an unattractive looking guitar. The satin finish looks good, and there's an attractive rosette around the sound hole, but overall the entire package is quite plain. I have to say the build quality of this guitar is very good. It's very neatly put together, there's no rough spots in the finish, I think it's remarkable how well it's built considering its price point. When it comes to the tone, it's not the most sophisticated sounding guitar, but I think there is a certain lo-fi charm about the sound. There's not a lot of mid-range detail, but it's got a nice dryness to the low end and it's reasonably balanced across the whole range. Strumming brought out a little stringiness in the top end, but that could be a combination of new strings and the guitar needing playing in a bit. So I would like to think that that stridentness would settle down a little bit over time. Overall I think it's a very reasonable sounding guitar with enough resonance and character to keep you interested and playing. The action is pretty low and overall the setup is better than some other guitars I've seen at this price point, particularly the nut slots which I find are often left quite high on lower level guitars. The neck is very shallow and I found that the edge of the fingerboard was a little bit sharp so it did dig into my thumb when playing with the thumb over the top but aside from that, the guitar was very easy to play. The bevel does make the guitar a bit more comfortable when it's sat in the lap, but it's quite a small guitar anyway, so it's not a huge difference, but it does mean that your right shoulder is not quite so far up in the air when you're playing. I think players looking to move on from their first guitar would be interested in this model. I think also there's many of us out there that are looking for a reasonably priced guitar with a solid wood top that we can take to situations like camping or going to the beach or on holiday, things like that. So I think there's quite a few players that would be interested in this guitar at this price. Those with a lighter touch or wanting a more intimate feeling guitar will get on well with the body size. And players with a heavier hand or wanting a bigger sound would do well to have a look at the Earth model from Court, which is in the same series, it's just a dreadnought size body. The 250 to 300 pound price that I found online seems to be right on the money for this guitar. 
It's very nice to see that it has a solid wood top, and I also think the build quality is really good for this price point. I don't know if the bevel adds much to the price, but it's a feature that will impress some players that have seen them on much more expensive guitars, and it certainly makes the guitar more comfortable to play, so it's a welcome addition. I think it's amazing that you can get a playable guitar with an enjoyable sound at this price point. I think it just goes to show that we should be grateful that we're living in an age where it's possible to produce instruments at this quality for such a low price. I hope you've enjoyed this video from Acoustic Review. Please subscribe and follow us on social media to be updated when there are new videos available. And we look forward to seeing you next time.